Good morning, YouTube. Uh, I want to talk about something that was just on last week on television. For all of us who watched the show, The Walking Dead, we all know how this last season just ended. If you haven't seen it, shut this off now because you're not going to like what i got to tell you. The place they went to called Terminus is inhabited by cannibals. Now, I'm not going to go into the whole Walking Dead apocalypse thing. What I am here to talk about is cannibalism as a survival issue. Now, I'm not advocating cannibalism in any way, shape, or form. What I have heard and read a lot of the comments by people is that, well, there there'd never be an incident where anybody would ever resort to cannibalism. It, it can't be that bad. I beg to differ. Cannibalism, unfortunately, has been practiced many times in history. Um as a survival issue and why I'm addressing that and saying that is it's possibility I don't mean that if it's if it's something that you come to it you should go out and eat your neighbors or even your relatives what I'm saying is it's something to watch out for and why I say that is when things go bad and we all know there's no longer as much an if as a when when things go bad, people are going to do things they are not normally capable of. And cannibalism is one of them. Um, in American history and world history, there's a long list of events that involve cannibalism. I'm going to put this up here, and you can read it and pause it and check. I'm not going to go into all these things in detail, because there's just too many of them. But I want you to look at the list of these events and study them for yourself okay I'm gonna leave this here for a second so you can uh, pause it and write them down whatever I'm just gonna leave it there and all of those instances people survived by resorting to cannibalism they did not want to they had to now some of them involved their families and their loved ones so don't think for a second if it came to it, if you are st you are standing in the way of a family who hasn't eaten in weeks, other than maybe scraps here and there or longer, in a survival situation, that you might not become filet mignon. I'm I'm saying this as a survival issue. Look at Hurricane Katrina. How long do you think it would have been if there was no way to get to those people? where they would have started turning on each other and you'd be, each other would have become food. How long do you think that would have been? Another month? A couple of months? Imagine that on a wider scale. Imagine a, a catastrophic event where this country either goes dark or parts of this country goes dark and there's no way to reach them. It's happened before. The Donner Party was a good example of that. It was a small scale event, but it was where people couldn't get out and rescuers couldn't get in. <clears throat> Think about that. And imagine a large city, American city, going dark, turning to chaos, five or six million people turning inwards on themselves. Eventually, the food's going to run out. People are not going to know how to prepare that food. I guarantee you, out of, say, the six or seven million people, or how many people in New York City now, how many do you think know how to survive on their own? I guarantee you it's a small majority. Maybe 10%, if that. Um, there won't be food shelters. There will be, but not for long, because they'll get looted. Do you think the local store is not going to get looted? Look at the, some of the snowstorms we've had this past year, and look at some of the pictures you've seen on Twitter and everywhere else of totally empty shelves. Nothing on them. No water, no food, no nothing. That's just one snowstorm. They knew that was going to end. They knew they were going to get plowed out. But people treated that as if it was the end of the world. Imagine if that really happened where those store shelves became empty and they stayed that way. If you don't think other people may resort to cannibalism as a way to survive, if you don't think that can happen, it can. And I guarantee you it's going to happen in our lifetime. It will happen. You will see it. Maybe not even in this country, but you will see an event where 
rescuers cannot get in, can't get help. And eventually, you will see it on the news, maybe if there is news, where people turn in on themselves and eventually became, it was a last resort. It happens. What I'm saying as a survival issue is don't be complacent where you think it can't happen. It can. To those people out there that are saying people will never get that desperate, there will always be food. No, there won't. You better realize that. What I'm telling you is be mindful of the things that you don't think can happen because we've all been hurting in the last few years. It can't happen here. It can. And that's something we all need to consider that it can happen. What you saw where people have finally gone over the edge and resorted to cannibalism, that has happened in history before. Don't think it can't happen again. I'm just saying as a survival issue, it's something you need to think about. And how I mean that is, I wouldn't, if for the life of me, live in a big city now. Not in this climate, not with the way things are going. Not a chance. Um, if you do live in a big city and don't have any options, I suggest you find a way to f get as much food as possible and don't tell anyone about it. Don't mention it to your neighbors or anyone you don't want to know because your neighbors will quickly become your worst enemy because if it becomes their kids versus yours, their lives versus yours, they will choose theirs. It's just the way things are. And people need to look at that. So cannibalism is real. It has happened. It isn't just something on TV. It isn't a figment of someone's imagination. It can happen. Unfortunately, I think in our lifetime, it probably will. Be prepared. So I'm saying, as usual, get prepared. Keep your powder dry. And watch for things that are happening. Because things are happening quickly. Watch out. Keep your eyes on things. Pay attention. Have a good day, all.